Today we're going to be looking at the two-step receiving process of receiving a purchase order in the mobile device. We do have a separate video that looks at receiving via one-step receiving, um, but for today's purposes we're going to talk about two-step receiving. So this is the purchase order we're going to receive, PO 4346, and to get to the mobile device in the administrator role, I'm going to go to Setup Custom Mobile App. Keep in mind, right, this may look a little different depending on the roles and the permissions that you have. Um, the other thing that we make use of is what's called a mobile login URL. So a material handler looking at the mobile device, they can just click this, this easy link to get to the mobile device, right? They don't have to try to mess with, you know, this, this sort of screen on a, a small tablet or something like that. So we're going to open the mobile app in another tab. When I do that, right, it's going to open it in widescreen, but keep in mind this would be on a screen about the size of your phone. So when we open this, it takes us to what's called the SCM mobile or the supply chain management mobile app. This is NetSuite's way of consolidating all the supply chain related apps into one place. So for today, we're going to select WMS. When I do that, it's going to bring up a drop down list of warehouse locations. If my employee is assigned to one warehouse location, I'll just be brought to that warehouse. I won't have the option to select any others. So we're going to click Chicago warehouse. When we do that, this is going to take us to a screen with the different activities we can perform in a warehouse, right? So we can do receiving, we can perform picking, we can do inventory or miscellaneous movements. Those are our bin statuses, uh, excuse me, our inventory status changes and our bin transfers. So let's click receiving. And we see the different things we can receive, right? We can receive purchase orders, transfer orders, inbound shipments, RMAs if we wanted to. And we're gonna make use of these two buttons today. So purchase order and put away. So I'm gonna select purchase order I have a couple things I can do, right? If I have some documentation with a PO barcode, I can scan that. I can search the PO from the list. I can search by vendor, by item, um, and manufacturer part number if I wanted to. So let's select list, and we're going to select this PO. Now, what I can do here is if I have sufficient barcoding already, I can you know, scan that item, I can type it in here, or I can select it. This is going to show the list of items um, that we have to receive. We could even select show completed if we had already picked a couple lines for this PO. I'm going to select my item. I'm going to enter my lot. Um, I can enter an expiration date if I wanted to. This is going to help us for first expiry, first out picking, if that's something we want to make use of. I'm going to click enter lot. And then NetSuite's going to ask me how many I want to receive, right? So let's say I see the boxes kicked in, there's something wrong. If I do receive that and I want to, you know, eventually have someone check it out and maybe do a, a vendor return, I can receive it in a status of quarantine. But for today, you know, we'll receive it in a status of good. The other thing I can do is click this print button, which is going to allow me to print item and pallet labels, even carton labels on receipt. That's something that we'll have a separate video that we can look at. Um, and, you know, we'll go through all the setup. You can see here it's it's not quite set up yet, so uh, we won't go through that today. But feel free to watch our other video that talks about printing labels on receipt. I'll click enter quantity. And then it's going to ask me what bin I'm staging this to, right? So because this is a two-step process, I'm going to be taking it off the truck, putting it in a receiving staging area. And then myself or maybe another team at a later time will take it from that staging area and move it to a storage bin. So I'm going to click receiving staging. That's what it's going to ask me. Okay, now that this PO has been staged successfully, do you want to receive another PO? Or do you want to go back to the main menu, click receiving, and then we'll go to put away to complete that two-step process. So we'll select put away. We'll select bin put away for right now. And then if we had more than one receiving staging bin, right, it would show all those bins, the number of items and the total quantity there. We'll click our one receiving staging bin. Again, if we had printed out an item or a pout label, we could scan that. We could type that in or we can just select the link. That's what it's going to ask us to validate the lot number that we're putting away. If we had more than one, we could click put away all. Um, again, right, I know I'm kind of saying it over and over again, but if we did have labeling, we could scan that lot number label, or we can just click the lot number here. Status is good. That's what we received in as. And let's say I'm moving, you know, the full quantity over. Maybe there's 450 on one pallet. I'll click into quantity. Now it's going to ask me the storage bin, right? So physically, I would walk up to that bin and scan the bin barcode. Um, I could additionally type that bin in or I could click from the list. And this is showing me a list where that item, there's already inventory in those bins, right? There's different put away strategies we can set up to you know, have it display whatever you want. But, uh, and additionally, I could put it away to a bin that's not even here. I could just walk up and you know, scan that different bin. We're not locked into where the inventory already is if that's not the setting that we want. So I'll click enter two bin. That's what's gonna let me, okay, you've completely finished that put away process. You can go ahead and do another put away from a different receiving staging bin, or you can go back to the main menu and perform any of the other activities that you need to.